Oh, today's video, I got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful present. Um, it was a present that I actually recognized. Since probably 10 years ago. Inside of this room, at a laptop, right in front of me, play me exactly what you're about to see. I invite you all. In fact, I already got myself a piece. Uh, it's a video I have downloaded from the YouTube. And uh, it's the picture that I just love this picture. I love it. I I am gonna actually make this picture that you see here I'm gonna frame one I want a picture like this I want one uh, in the frame I want one actually inside of my room in the frame this is a really really gorgeous 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 picture this I have taken this gift which was translated to me inside of my room probably in 2012 maybe even in 2013 when they threw me behind the walls of mental institution in Slovenia maybe they brought me from the psychiatric facility to meet these people as well. I, I should say these people might have met me because I spent a lot of time drugged up even when they threw me behind the walls of mental institution in Ljubljana. Just so they would tell me, you see this picture here? It's kind of awkward this movie. But I identified one immediately. As soon as I saw one, I knew immediately exactly what video was. I knew exactly what this was about. This is about the Serbian military, which fought against Austro-Hungarian Empire you can see right there year 1914 and its military is depicted heroically by their own Serbian people he is demonstrating uh, a village man uh, he is pledge to the family, to the country, to the nation on how he will stand up and defend one regardless for the cost of his life heroically uh, and so on and the name of the video is A Hero but it says right there 1940 but when they brought me to see this video I don't know maybe 2000 12 maybe 2013 the first thing and they cited me was the title and the title is hero so I kind of assumed that this was dedicated to me because they it was like we have for you this and the name of the video is a hero and they seated me right where I see that and they demonstrated me exactly this video hero and it was appealing to me and i was i was sure that this was dedicated to me on that mk ultra i was certain this was the video dedicated to me it actually was dedicated to me um it describes serbian heroism incredible uh resilience 
that's how they describe themselves as uh, against Austro-Hungarian Empire, the strength of its people, uh, the bravery, the way they fought, uh, and eventually emerged as a winner against Austro-Hungarian Empire. They won the war against Austro-Hungarian Empire, is what they claim. They merged out as a victors, as a winners. And you can see this example, they use him. He did not mind to get the bullet. He did not mind to stop short from any assignment. Uh, in fact, there was just one thing that the Serbs wanted, the Serbian soldiers, uh, during the World War I. There's one thing they wanted. They wanted their commanders, their leaders, to be merciless, basically, to be without absolutely any fear. Uh, they wanted them to be determined leaders, without assistance, without regret. And if they would not act in a such a way, this here is what the Serbian soldiers would do to them, to their own leaders. Yeah? And so, this here is what the Serbs that were here during the visit, they told me. This, what you see right here, this, that's you, right there. No. The Serbs, however, engaged in what you see right there, kind of violence against me. If it was 2013 or 2012, he must have been already for 17, 18 years of torture under MK Ultra. Throughout the villages, all over, occupied parts of Bosnia, Croatia, and in their Serbia. Um, a madness, insanity, that these people threw at me always ended up in exactly as if somebody would point a bayonet in you, rifles, which they did. In other words, you would not know anymore who the fuck you are, what you are, what the fuck is going on, nothing. You would not know about the time. You would not discern between the women and children and adult males anymore. That's how far the Serbs have gone against me million times. Yeah. And um, they refer to this people like this, just what they rated me as, Right? So they compare me to a leader that is a coward, Kukavica. They refer to them as a Kukavica. Kukavica is a coward. That's the only thing the Serb did not stand. And that was the way they did with them. Yeah? This is what the Serbs came inside of my room to explain to me. Yeah? They came to demonstrate me the video. So this is this is a really really beautiful picture, if you ask me. Uh, maybe to you is not. To me, however, it is. There is a golf course not too far from here at Otočić. It belongs to the Krka Pharmaceutical Company. And whenever I was brought there, they had something like similar to. What I have seen over and over again in Bosnia, in Croatia, in occupied parts of Bosnia and Croatia, where they exchange bullets with Croats and Bosnians inside of those ditches, bunkers, bunkers. And inside of those locations was pretty much the stuff that you see here. That's what the fuck I got. I got this kind of views in my face, but in my face drugged up and you get this kind of stuff dogs, if they barked on me when you are drugged up, that's a very uncomfortable feeling you know, 
but this here that you see here this was a frequent thing it takes to the next level so just all I wanted to do is you can see this video here um, that's the video right here it's a hero 1914 the fact of the matter the truth however is that this victory this great Serbian victory it all ended with a great Serbian escape they don't mention in their video to the island Crete that's Greece that's where they ran they ran through Albania entire Albania they ran through entire Albania from the Austro-Hungarian Empire military which part we Slovenes also were with the Croats they ran all the way from their Serbia for bare life 400,000 of them 400,000 of them that's how victoriously they fought against Austro-Hungarian Empire they ran for life night and day did not have time to actually pick up their own people that would die along the way running for bare life like fleas that is actually the truth about this glorious Serbian victory which is so highly praised accented and was given to me as a I don't know a present here inside of this room to remind me basically of what they have done to me out of 400,000 people you see this it was only 180,000 of them that managed to escape from themselves they wouldn't kill them the Austro-Hungarian Empire didn't have goal to kill civilian people or soldiers if they captured them but what you see today in Ukraine Russians do and what Serbs did in Croatia and in Bosnia that's precisely what went on they killed soldiers, prisoners, and more than anything, they killed women, children, civil civilians. And it's the conscience, you know, because this this is titled as a hero. You know, hero 1914. Is that conscience they left behind? whatever they burnt, whatever they killed that made them run for bare life they couldn't even face the enemy in Croatia, Croats during the great Balkan war in 90s when they started to roar back into their villages back into their cities where Serbs have committed genocide in many cases against civilians I just wanted to clarify about this issue also because I have left comment and this the comment is gonna stay this is very very personal stuff The village man that is praised in this video, they praised the village man. The village man was a Serb. This village man, this big, brave Serb that was 
unafraid of anybody, anything. He won, I told him. That's a comment here. He won by running away from cowards to Crete, basically to Greece. If you look at this Balkan Peninsula, you can't run any further anymore. That's where you fell inside of the Mediterranean Sea, if you go any further. Right? You see where the Serbia is? You see what this is? They ran for life as far as they possibly could. For bare life. Maybe for their conscience. Because maybe this is, I feel, the conscience they have. That's why I left them this comment here today. You know, coward. That was not even an Austrian-Hungarian. That was not Austrian-Hungarian who was the coward. The coward, according to this story here, could only be their own soldier. The coward only could be a Serb. The coward could only be one of them that did not leave their troops the way those expected one. That's how they did with the cowards. This is what awaited cowards. But the thing about it is, is I was rated as a coward. This is what this was all about, that picture right there. Because this is what they wanted to demonstrate me. It's why I wrote him this village man, therefore a Serb, won the war. You know, emerged as a winner by running from cowards on Crete into Greece. My grandfather was a soldier, Austrian soldier. He fought a front, two fronts. One, it was known as a Soshka Fronta. That was a front that was a border between Slovenia and between the Italy, actually between the Austria and between the Italy, near Trieste. And then he fought a second war, actually second front. And when he was sent on a second front, he became a Russian prisoner because from the Italy, my grandfather had it to the Russia and he became imprisoned as Austrian military, Austro-Hungarian military assaulted Russia. He became a prisoner of Russia and he had a great time with Russian people. Just like let's say also I was not imprisoned, in a way I was because of the people we have in Slovenia. However, I had a really great time in Belarus, I have to say, in 2017. Um, I assume that likewise my grandfather had a good time there. Um, he bragged about the women and stuff like this, and uh, I, I, uh, I can't complain about women in Belarus or Russia either. I cannot do that. Um, but there's one thing, this is really, really, really personal when you say to somebody like myself something like this, because, you know, uh, I don't, I am in a situation that, I'll tell you the truth, I don't even recognize Slovenia as a country, as a state, as a nation. It's kind of weird that you say, that you demonstrate me this here. So you must understand from my words right now, which I stated to you, that I'm not part of you. I'm not a Serb. You got to understand that's for one thing. 
since you took the stand like this you need to understand why I have written down here also cowards think about this is very very deep stuff you go over and give it a time think about it and you will eventually understand and the second thing is is exactly what I have demonstrated to you because they complained about that it was a quarter of the Serbian population that perished in this World War I I have written them if there were not as many as 400,000 running to Greece from those against whom they have won the war and inside of this room these people is again they rated me as a kukavica now they actually rated me also as a traitor so i told them if you know i don't know how austrians are traitors to the serbs but if they wouldn't four hundred thousand of them ran to the crete island I have wrote them down. You probably would have even half of those that died, that perished along the way to Greece, still alive. Can I continue? And on top of that, you would also be more humane as a people. So that's my response to this video. Those that you called cowards during video recording of this video They are going to fuck you in your native Belgrade. Just remember that. And this comment eventually is going to stay. Because as I stated earlier, Slovenia is Slovenia. But my war that Serbs comment, commenced with the people from Slovenia who somehow have decided will establish here another Republika Srpska because this was the goal of Milan Kuchan and Bolet Pacha it's not over it's actually not anywhere near over that's all I wanted to say and this comment is gonna stay until we're gonna meet in Belgrade No, I'm of course I'm not threatening to anybody. Of course I'm not threatening to anybody. Of course I'm not threatening to anybody. I'm sure you have courts. I'm sure you have police. I'm sure you have a law and order in Belgrade, right? Thanks for watching this video.